Peace, Prophet people. Welcome back to the Absolute Boss Collective. This evening, we're going to talk about moving averages. Okay? Before we get into moving averages, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Do your boy a favor and elbow that like button real quick. Hit the notification bell so you can know when I come out with more videos about technical analysis or anything else concerning trading and investing. And now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Moving averages. A moving average is a common technical analysis, analysis indicator that is used to smooth out price. So, we all know that the stock market fluctuates in price. It goes up and down, uh, and we call that volatility, okay? So, if you're looking at a particular stock or an index, and you want to ascertain what the average price is, we have something called an SMA, a simple moving average. Uh, let's say we wanted to get a five-day simple moving average. What we would do is take the closing price over five days, add those different closing prices up, divided by five, and then we would get what is called a simple moving average. Okay, this moving average can be used as a, uh, a form of support and resistance. Okay, so if price is above a particular moving average, that would be considered bullish or that would be considered an uptrend. If price is under a particular moving average, that would be considered bearish or uh, a downtrend. Depending on what you're doing, if you are a day trader, for instance, you would be paying close attention to five day moving average, an eight day moving average, and a 13 day moving average. Those would re react to price fast enough for a day trader to make a decision on whether he wanted to go long or short. If you are, let's say, maybe a swing trader or a position trader, and you're holding these particular stocks or indices for a longer period of time, you will be looking at some of the more longer term uh, moving averages, such as a 10 day, 20 day, 50 day, 100 day, or 200 day moving average. Okay, so we discussed simple moving averages. There's something called an exponential moving average. An exponential moving average applies more weighting to the most recent prices. Uh, the EMA reacts more quickly to price changes than the SMA because when we have days with higher volatility, maybe a higher price range, they may get more weighting than a flat day or uh, a day with less volatility. So again, this uh, moving average is created by constantly updating the average price. So again, let's go back to the five day SMA. So on the sixth day, that first day is gonna drop off. Okay, so that price is constantly updating. Moving averages could be tailored to any time frame. They work for both long-term and short-term. Again, they identify trend direction and determine support and resistance. Um, when asset prices cross over their moving averages, it may generate a trading signal, okay? And uh, conversely, if it happens the other way, we cross below a moving average, that is going to be a trading signal or could generate a reversal signal. These moving averages also form the basis for other technical indicators, such as MACD, which is moving average convergence divergence. If you want to know what MACD is, return of the MAC. If you want to know what that means, leave it in the comments below and I'll get back at you with that. 
okay the direction of the moving average gives idea of which way price is moving angled up price is moving up angled down price is moving down a moving average with a shorter term time frame will react much quicker to price changes uh, a 20-day moving average will provide more reversal signals than let's say a 200-day moving average so a moving average crossover is you know one of the things that i may look at is i may look at the five day moving average crossing above or below the 18 day or the 13 day uh that will give me a signal of things that are coming up and allow me to make a decision on what i want to do because i primarily day trade moving averages are not a predictive indicator they're just an indicator a lot of times these indicators can be paired up with other things uh no one indicator is law okay um now a moving average sometimes they tend the market tends to respect them you'll see it uh let's say you'll you'll see the uh five day moving average moving down towards the eight day or moving up towards the eight day and it will respect that and um not break the uptrend or downtrend sometimes it doesn't work so when we have or sometimes it's not as reliable it doesn't respect it as much as you would want it to uh and those are times when we have chip, choppy price action okay so when you have that choppy price action and we're range bound a lot of times the moving average uh can be a little uh misleading okay so you will want to back that up with something else uh or maybe just use another indicator uh but a moving average will work very strong in a trending condition okay if we're trending up or trending down then those moving averages tend to be more uh respected by the market okay uh if you have any other questions about moving averages or any other indicators that you may hear about out there leave it in the comments below uh and uh we'll see if i can get a video out pertaining to that study those moving averages plot your course get this money that's what we're about here at the absolute boss collective so this is Absolute signing off. Peace.